Thanks, Andreas. So we come to the second half, which is uh, occupied with uh, more recent years. This first one is called My Father Whose Heart Is Beaten. My Father Whose Heart Is Beaten speaks openly of meeting God as he holds his rosary. I can't wait to die, he says. I look at my mother whose life is devoted to keeping him here, pushing my father, whose heart is beaten by his pacemaker, cheating him out of his heaven, as she says to me, I'm sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> this is uh, a uh, piece of uh, foreign poetry called a Rondell Prime, and it's called He Lives in Fear of Scandalizing God. He lives in fear of scandalizing God, so never having lived, he longs to die. Why has my God forsaken me, he cries, left here where everybody else is flawed? He piles on prayers like greensmen laying sod. Without his rosary, not a day goes by. He lives in fear of scandalizing God, so never having lived, he longs to die. His souls become reflected in his body, crippled, pinched, stoop-shouldered, and half blind. That he should be condemned to cling to life, obsessed with death, he finds it very odd. He lives in fear of scandalizing God, so never having lived, he longs to die. is a litany. It's called uh, Cantare Paternoster, uh, which means uh, sing our father. Um, and the uh, refrain, Agnus Dei nobis miserere, Agnus Dei dona me vivere. Uh, Agnus Dei means Lamb of God, nobis miserere means have mercy on us, and dona me vivere means give me life. Father, you will die before the autumn leaves, leaving your beloved son behind to grieve on his day, no peace miserere. Visiting is like attending Latin mass, talking through a foot-thick window of stained glass, on his day, dona me vivere. Body wasted, bobble-headed, failing heart, trying to connect, not knowing where to start, on his day, Nobis miserere. Too late to obtain the truth I really want. Rage has finally faded to bewilderment. On his day, dona me vivere. Too late to explain the broken collarbone, falling off the bed or an abusive home. On his day, nobis miserere. All those childhood races to emergency, covered up and mother sworn to secrecy. On his day, Hitch your tortured soul on a robotic god, wield an iron fist, and never spare the rod. On youth day, nobis miserere. You think sacraments ensure your being saved, even if you take your secrets to the grave. On youth day, dona me vivere. I'll be left to wonder how it might have been, left behind to fear your ghost and wear your skin. On his day, nobis miserere, on his day, dona me vivere. And this is Villanelle number three. To love my father is to have no share, to serve and walk on eggshells. In a word, to rub witch hazel in the devil's hair. My father needs 24-hour care, his mind, his daddy long legs, legs absurd. To love my father is to have no share. My sister wonders if we visit there, if we could find his shoes. Oh, and he'd sure love us to rub witch hazel in his hair. 
I crave to kill the hate that I inherit from his belt, his Christian character. To love my father is to have no share. Though half the time his is a vacant stare, he still spits venom like a wounded cur, rubbing witch hazel in the devil's hair. My mother is devoted to his care. I cannot free her from her sinecure. To love my father is to have no share to rub witch hazel in the devil's hair. called Visiting Dad. His scapular sticks out of his collar. His scapula pokes out of his sleeve. He looks like a dead carp, lying on the hospital bed, eyes closed, breathing through his mouth. I touch his humerus through thin, limp skin, no biceps, triceps, no meat on it at all. Like an anorexic I saw once except she was young and vital. Her skin was tight and tan. You could see every curve of every bone. I don't know how she moved her limbs. He starts awake. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at my death. I've been sent from the past to warn myself. When he goes, this is what I will become. Already his moles cover my back. When he goes, I will go with him like Elliot and E.T. Look, I'm still cooking, he says. He scrapes a pat of butter into his soup. I'm ready to go now, but everybody wants me to stick around. We're all rooting for your dad. Mother will be pleased I said that. <laughs> it's not your time yet. The doctor says so. Finish your milk. Eat a little bit of everything. I don't want you to die. I don't want to die. I want you to die. I want to live. Thank you. This is called uh, driving in the dark. Following a pair of taillights down the two lane arterial, in a split second it registers. The car ahead is swerving left. Blump, blump. I see the cat. I have one more split second, that's all, long enough for the image to register. Blump, blump. Not long enough to react. A big orange long haired tabby, fat as a pug, hindquarters crushed. Blump, blump. Struggling like a caught trout, thrashing with her forelegs anchored to the road by her hips. And then she's under my wheel. Blump, blump. Don't stop. I just hope I put her out. I can still see her. I can still hear it. Blump, blump. I think of that cat looking at you, anchored to the hospital bed, your head lolling on the pillow. Blump, blump. Withered up and insubstantial as a dried out hairball, as though the draft from the hall would blow you onto the floor. Blump, blump. I'm sorry I'm so much trouble. Don't be sorry, Dad. Blunt, blunt. I was stupid not to take care of myself. It's okay, Dad. Blunt, blunt. How old am I? You're 86, Dad. That's a long time. Blunt, blunt. Dad, what? I want to tell you something. Okay. Blunt, blunt. Try to be calm when you go. Okay, I'll try. Blunt, blunt. I love you, Dad. Blunt, blunt. I'll miss you. Blunt, blunt. We're not pronouncing yet, Dad. Blunt, blunt. Oh, okay. Blunt, blunt. Get some rest now. Blunt, blunt. I'll see you soon. Blunt, blunt. Blunt, blunt. Blunt, blunt. just like you. You carried your rosary in a leather coin purse and said it every day like an ablution. It was in your pocket when they took your pants and put them in the wash. You only got half of it back. It had fallen apart. 
just like you. Loretta was the only black woman at the manor. You thought that was fascinating. You pointed her out to me like a zoo animal. That's Loretta, you said. She's a fallen Catholic, just like you. It's installed in my brain now, the pacemaker protruding from your hollow chest, like a tissue box on a table covered with skin. A hideous god, it kept your heart beating against its will. You wore it like a badge made of skin, made of skin like a Nazi lampshade. I'm a walking cadaver, you like to say. It was your favorite joke. You come to the obituaries every day. God takes you when he wants you, you'd say. But he couldn't take you when he wanted to, and you resented it for 10 years. Until finally, your heart gave out for good. Tired of being cattle prodded, just like you. Thank you. This is called Dead Weight, and it uh, makes uh, an allusion to uh, the cremation of Sam McGee by Robert Service. Uh, it's a treat. If you haven't read it, find it. It's called Dead Weight. I push into the lobby, flip the girl a fin, and check my self-image. Hospice ward, room four. I read him the cremation of Sam McGee. You remember, Dad, how you loved Robert Service? Dad beams. Wax is philosophical. I wanted to cheer you up, but instead you've cheered me. You were with the enemy for a while, but now you're back. Let's not go there, Dad. I wait for the explosion, but for once it doesn't come. He gives me a final blessing. You're a good son. You've been a prized possession for the family. Give me a kiss before you go, he begs. I think of Judas, kiss his proffered cheek, and seal my manumission. My dog sled waits in the lot. Thank you. This is called And You. It's a glossa, uh, which is a poem that takes uh, several lines from somebody else's poem and then um, uses them um, in the poem. Uh, one per, per verse, one line per, per verse of the actual poem. So you'll recognize the poem that this uses. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. I wear your moles, your plaque psoriasis, inherit your books, ensconce them on my shelf. I see you in the mirror when I shave, with the old clippers, cut my hair myself. Relive my childhood, play with Lego blocks, watch TV serials in black and white, and read the old encyclopedia I used to read under the sheets at night. For 60 years, I've been a boy of five, and you, my father, there on the sad night. I see you when I've other folks around. They wheel you to a family gathering. I'm there among the faithful to say hi and metaphorically kiss your ring. I'm bothered and relieved you never called. If there's a shred of self-worth to be saved, I dare not make that one-mile pilgrimage to seek the benediction that I crave compulsively, abjectly. It's like a curse. Bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. I look into your grotesque face and see, like flesh-eating bacteria, your soul, the wretched spirit you've bequeathed to me, cannibalizing you as you grow old. This horror movie I'm inhabiting grows monstrous as you die before my sight, refusing food as infants do their beats, making me beg you, Dad, please take a bite, as if to say, while knowing it's a lie, do not go gentle into that good night. 
As your firstborn, scion, and protege, I've borne your face, your name, your demons all. Most sons emancipate themselves as teens. It took me 50 years to find the gall. I've watched you howl in alcoholic rage and spent my tender years consumed with fright. You'd mellowed by the time my sister came. She loves you and she calls you every night. It's just as well with me as I have my rage. Rage against the dying. I have two more. This is called uh, Fully Empty. It was uh, in response to a prompt about oxymoron. I'm perilously safe now. They've dropped you into the shallow depths of the ceremonious earth like a hat into a round box. Still, your absence is always present. The void you left still fills my cup. No matter how high I hide the hat box, I bear my bareheadedness everywhere I go. I find myself asking you as I walk the woods you taught me to love, can you see this? Can you see through my eyes? Is there a portal where you are? If you're where you belong, I wouldn't think so. Then again, in a week's time for me, maybe you've endured an eternity of purgation. And now you're in heaven with your God. Your void filled at last, your torment finally over. My torment is over too. You can't make your demons my problem anymore. It is at last mine to say so. My dead life is finally beginning. Finally, this is called Living Dead, and uh, it's in three parts. And uh, I'd like to thank you all very, very much for your rapt attention. It's more than I deserve. I'm, I'm humbled by it. And, uh, thank you very, very much. Living Dead. Christianity has its roots in the epileptic hallucinations of two men, Paul and Constantine. The roots of Christianity do not extend back to Jesus. I would have loved Jesus had we ever been introduced. Instead, I got Abraham. My father impressed his Catholicism on me with his belt. One day when I was 13, he tried to turn me over his knee as he'd done hundreds of times. We ended up rolling around on the floor. How dare you wrestle your father, he raged. Forty-seven years and one funeral later, I still won't let go of him until he gives me his blessing. Two. I dream I'm at the nursing home. Skeletal, bent from arthritis, his lungs rattled when he heard He's saying something to me. I'm starting my own business, I scream back. Then he's gone. Somehow he's given me the slip. I push into the stairwell hunting for him. He bursts through the double doors, wearing a baseball cap, a load of split cordwood under each arm. He charges up the stairs, crashes into the wall, and comes plummeting back down. I catch him in my arms. Then he's up on the landing, splayed on the floor, surrounded by white stockings. He's broken his wrist, somebody says. They take x-rays, his fingers resting on the metal plate look like thalidomide baby flip. Three. Yesterday I went shopping for CDs, holding half a dozen carefully chosen treasures, Buffalo Springfield, Jefferson Airplane, Cream. I heard my father's voice, now put half of those back. Even in death, my father is still painting that evil tasted tincture on my thumb. Thank you very much.